Hello to everyone. How are you? This is Joanna and I just had a really very small haul to share with you. I went out today to Bed Bath & Beyond and then I also went to Marshalls. I needed a C type charger so that I can have my other charger at work and it can stay there because I hadn't replaced the two that I'm missing yet. But I also wanted to share what I got while I was out. So this soap right here is not new, but it is one of the full box sets that I had put up. You've heard me say that I had the pistachio bars in Dove and I had those coconut milk ones in Dove. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't have the body wash already because as y'all know here lately, I've been very prone to picking up things that I've already have, not realizing that I already have them. I do, however, have this in a body wash. I got it um, a few years back at the other apartment. I'm currently going through a lot of my stuff now, trying to get to some of the older stuff that is still usable and going ahead and getting rid of what isn't. So because I got two more packages of soap, I've been trying to find these. I do have soap in boxes, just like my foundation. I cannot find it, but I did find my Caress Glow Bars and I love those. So this one is not new, but what I picked up today Right after I did that video and told y'all I have a hard time finding the Sensitive Skin Unscented Olay Bars, I go into Bed Bath & Beyond not even looking for them and here they are. These are the Unscented Sensitive Skin. They have changed the title over the years. These and the Dove ones I used to keep in my rotation all the time because I could use these on my son when he was little. My daughter could use these as well because I started buying the Dove um, Unscented for her as a baby. Y'all heard my little story that I hated Dove for no particular reason. I hated Dove when I got her that bar because the doctor recommended it for her dry skin. I washed my face with it one day. We ran out of soap in the house and I knew that I had enough money to go get her some more and I used that and I fell in love with it and I no longer said that I hated Dove. I was like 21, 22. I had no reason to hate any of the things that I hated. I just did. So I was so happy to find this. They only had one there or I probably would have got the second one, but they didn't have another one. But this will do me. This is six bars. This will do me because as y'all know, I'm able to get my hands on the wash. The other one they had that I hadn't seen before is the Hydrating Clean Almond Milk. I don't know when this would have came out, if it's an older one like my sensitive ones, but I was very glad to have it. So that, I believe, is all that I got from, I think I got one more thing from Bed Bath & Beyond. I did. This bar here, they have a hair care line. I will surface back maybe and get the body butter. I just have so many body butters. I did also pass on some Dove soaps at Marshall's, but I did make a purchase from Marshall's because I have so many and I need to use them. Y'all have heard me say that I feel like the oil of Olay holds its sudsing quality, but I feel like the Dove turns more into cream if they get a little older. So I'm trying to go through my ones that are still good. I even still have the Dove lotion, but there are three or four new ones that I would like to have. They had some Dove Rituals lotion at Marshall's, but I didn't get it because the pump was open and you could see where it had been pumped out. And I hate that, especially when it's one thing left there. They even had a Dove Deep Moisture Body Butter, but I didn't feel like fooling with it. I did try to record in there. Um, I might put that up. It's not as professional as a lot of you do. It was just me looking around and I just had my phone pointed towards what I was looking at. But I might put that up temporarily and take it down. So that's all that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. So what I actually purchased in Marshalls was just these two things here. I got another one of these. I kind of hate that it's white. So this one will stay at home. The yellow one will go to work with me. And I need another one for my purse. Usually for my phones, I'll type in the kind of phone that I have on eBay and get a charger. They can be as cheap as $7 sometimes. Or if they would have had another one of these, I would have got it. But I would hope that it would be in black. So these are fairly inexpensive at TJ Maxx and Marshalls or $6.99. In Schnucks in the grocery store and other places, they're as high as $14, $15.99. I do want to go to the Ollie's here and I do want to go to the Five Below and see if they have any of these chargers because... The ones that I put in my purse and the ones I have at work, they don't necessarily have to hold up. I just don't like taking my chargers back and forth. The next thing that I found, and I had to pick this up because it's coffee, but not because it's coffee. When I smell this, guys, it smells like an actual coffee, like a brewed coffee. That's what it smells like. It is so funny. 
I can incorporate this between my Bath and Body Works if I just want to use a soap and the body cream and that um, organics, like if I just want to use the lotion or whatever, I can incorporate this in between those two. So that's what I planned on doing with it because sometimes I don't feel like using the shower gels and I'll just use either one of those lotions with this. But I'm going to try to hold it still so that you can read it if you want to. I did not read it. But whatever this soap brand is, I think I might like to try some more because it really smells like a cup of coffee, a cup of cold coffee, a cup of black coffee. It really does. So again, let me hold this still so you can see this in case you like to read it. Now, I don't know if this is intended in mind to use on the face. I won't be using any of this on the face. But it does say something about pores, but then we can have pores all over our body. So I just thought it would be nice. So I'll be breaking into this probably. I'll even use this, guys, with my rice flower shea from Bath and Body Works because it's a light enough lotion that it won't really interfere. So that's all that I got today. I picked up some snacks a few days ago. My cherry coke and my Pringles was in there. Chili, was it chili, cheese, corn chips? And then today I wanted to go to GD Ritzy, so I went out there and got a burger. I got one to eat and then a different burger to bring home. So that's it, guys. That's all that I got. I just wanted to share that. And until the next time, everyone have a great day.